welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share my first year university accommodation. So um, I recently moved out and when I had everything cleared out, I filmed a little bit of a clip of what the actual room looked like and um, I opened the wardrobe and showed inside and there's an ensuite bathroom as well. So if you if you wanna take a look at it, here's the clip. So I lived in Palatine Court at Achille University. Um, it was one of the more expensive accommodations, but I felt it was really worth it. Um, it obviously the room itself was huge, and I loved it. And um, the shower had, um, you know, a glass. I don't know what you call it. It had glass instead of. Um, like a shower kit and then a wet room it, it is a wet room but um yeah the shower had glass <laughs> basically which was nice um also we had blinds instead of curtains which which i thought was also nice i don't think that's much of a big deal but um yeah and my room was also as you could see in the clip very neutral colors so I know some of the other accommodations was either like red, red wardrobes, red curtains or green and um, mine was just white and grey and I was happy with that. Um, in terms of the rest of the flat, so there was eight rooms, all of them en suite and we shared a kitchen between the eight of us. Everyone got a lock cupboard each that you could store anything you wanted in in the kitchen also you get about two cupboards each per person but it really does depend on like communication and some people have less stuff some people have more so you might not use up all the space that there is or some people might use more space um yeah there was also two fridges and two freezers between the eight of us so Again, it does depend on how much stuff everyone has. Um, if I needed space, I had space, you know. I didn't use it as much as my other flatmates did um, because we did all get a mini fridge in our rooms um, and a TV. So that was obviously great. You also get a TV in the kitchen um, that has more, that has like smart features on it, whereas the TV in your room doesn't. So that's just channels if you pay TV license for it. Yeah, I felt my room had a lot of storage space. There we go. Um, so it had like huge shelves. Um, the wardrobe was huge. Um, and under bed storage as well. So you could like lift up the mattress and there's two big cubes that you could probably fit about four suitcases in. I might be exaggerating here, but I'm pretty sure you could fit four in there. Um, and, oh, and the drawers were huge as well. <laughs> um, the desk space itself was, again, huge. Um, I felt um, that I always had enough space, whether I had a laptop, a book open, everything that it, I still had space, you know. Um, also, there's a pin board, which um, the TV is kind of in a weird position, I thought, because it was like on the pin board, which um, for me wasn't really ideal because I wasn't using the TV. So I had to like move it to one side and then use the rest of the pin board. But 
it's all about just making it work for you really. Yeah, I always felt very secure in there. I didn't have any issues with um with safety, security. Um there's regular fire drills, um not fire drills, um testing the fire alarm so you don't like actually have to go out. But um obviously that was for me <laughs> another, you know, safety feature that if there is something wrong, you will know because the alarms are working. Um, in terms of the look outside, <laughs> so I was on the ground floor, which you can probably see in the video. Um, and at the start of the year, <laughs> I had the bush outside my window, which was pretty nice because on the other side of the bush is like a car park for staff, I think. I might be wrong there, it could just be for students and staff, but a car park basically. And um, yeah, midway through the year, they like chopped the bush down. So that was a bit awkward <laughs> because every time I opened up the blinds, I'd be faced with someone getting out of their car, someone getting in their car, someone walking by and just staring at each other awkwardly. But um, in the end, I just got used to it. And it is just about um, getting used to. Um, I don't think, yeah, that's probably the only <laughs> downside that I had of the entire accommodation that sometimes it was just a bit awkward with the blinds up. But again, as I said, at the start of the year, it was fine because the bush was there. Mm, we also have a lot of campus pets. So um, the ducks would usually walk past my window, which was cute. Um, I think I got a video of it somewhere. I'll insert it here. If you are looking to go to a chill university, and um, stay there, stay on campus for your first year of um, uni, I would totally recommend it. The Palatine Court is very central as well, so it's about 8 to 10 minute walk both ways, and um, the library is very close, the hub, which has all the cafes and shops, that's very close as well, so you can't go wrong with Palatine, I think. Also, there's a bus that runs from uni to town, which uh, stops literally right outside Palatine Court. So that was very useful as well. Yeah, so I forgot to mention in the kitchen as well, you get um, a kettle a toaster, a microwave, and what else do you get? Oh, you get like cleaning stuff for your room. So you clean your own room, um, you get a hoover for that, and I think mops for the bathroom. And then your kitchen gets cleaned by a cleaner every weekday, I think that's how it works. Yeah, so in your room you get a waste paper basket, I think that's the word for it. Um, I just used it as a regular bin. I don't know if that's a sin. I'm sorry if it is. Um, but basically, um, in the kitchen, there's recycling bins as well as a normal bin. And usually the cleaner takes them out on weekdays. And if it does get um, over overflowing in the weekend, um, there's the there's big bins outside where you can, you know, take it out. Yeah, I had a 40-week contract, so I moved in at the end of September, just before uni started, so just before Freshers Week, and then I had to move out just recently on the 2nd of July, which um, which was, you know, a long time. Um, my course finished in the start of May, so it was a bit strange just... Um, not even just my course, a lot of courses finished at the start of May. So the uni did empty out a lot. But um, new people came as well, like people coming back from teacher training and 
um, placements. That was very interesting to see um, a change of, you know, students on campus. Yeah, also there's a campus support team that you can contact 24-7. Um, with my accommodation, it was right next to the security hub. Well, uh, like a one minute walk to the security hub and the drop off point. That was very useful as well. Um, but yeah, if you had any concerns, you could just pop in there at any time. Or there was an online service where you could report any issues that you had with maintenance and stuff. I personally didn't have any issues. I know um, other people who did and they had it fixed pretty quickly as far as I know. Um, maintenance people always came and went and yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me know if you enjoyed it, if you want to see, well, more like this. I do like watching room tours, so maybe I could do another room tour in my new accommodation for next year when I move in. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.